Hi guys, I uh, figured I would uh, shoot a quick video, show you what's been going on. This is the outside of the fish room. I've been cleaning the garage, desperately trying to make some room out here. Uh, so I've got uh, some temporary shelves. Still have to mud up the walls on this thing. And once I do, I'm going to get a few shelves uh, loaded on the outside here. <clears throat> I'm going to be able to clean this up a little bit. This, sh this shelf system is... Uh, garbage and temporary at best but uh figured i'd bring you guys into the into the fish room such as it is this is this is uh one side this is where the water changing station is going to be again i still have to mud everything up and once i do uh, i'm going to build a little platform uh this will have two pumps one for keeping the, the fresh water moving one for keeping the salt water moving and for mixing. Going to uh, run the lines directly over to my sump area. Uh, I'm also going to run two lines out this wall right over here. So there will be taps on the other side uh, so that I can fill up the uh, mobile water changing station that I'm going to be building out of uh, the cart that I'm currently using for my hospital rack. Uh, that way I'll be able to do the water changes in the house uh, and I won't have to lug buckets or anything. Um, so here's uh, here's the, uh, the skimmer I actually moved the pump. I used to have it mounted down here and the outlet here was actually facing upwards uh, and I was getting too much head loss and I just wasn't generating enough, uh, enough foam in the skimmer. So uh, you can see right now I'm Generating plenty of foam. Well, that's good juice. Um, these are my my dual frag tanks, which uh, are going to be switched around. Um, this tank here on the left, which right now houses a lot of rock, uh, is going to be the frag tank, and then this tank is going to be a refugium with a deep sand bed and seagrass and some of the rock from this tank um, as well as mangroves and a lot of macroalgae and I'll probably throw like uh, some a pipefish or two in there uh, maybe some uh, seahorses just you know something that's going to be uh, pulling a lot of nutrients out of the system and uh, I have to rerun the, the lines for my my media Right now I'm running GFO and carbon. And then I've got uh, my Vertex calcium reactor with the carbon doser on it and the you know, standard Milwaukee pH switch. And that seems to be working really well. Uh, all, my, uh, all the frags that I have out here that I have not transferred into the main tank are doing well. Everybody's happy out here. Uh, lots of algae out here, which is fine because there's very little in my display tank. So uh, as long as I can keep it out here, I'm perfectly happy with it. Uh, and then down here is the uh, you know the big big old tub that I'm using for additional volume. This is all eventually going to be taken out. I'm ordering the uh, the acrylic to build my new sump, so I'm going to have a sump down here. This is all I'm going to get repiped. I'm going to redo all the plumbing. Um, but the sump will come out probably to about here and should hold about 110 gallons of water um, with space enough for overflow from the frag tanks and the display tank. And uh, that's pretty much it. I got my, uh, you know, I hooked up my little AC unit out here to keep the place warm. Yeah, I love spray. Uh, <laughs> and uh, then also, um, the, seven, the, sorry, the 55 and the 40 are going to be set up as a quarantine system that's going, going to go in a shelf unit that I'm building, uh, again, as soon as I'm done mudding the walls. So there's going to be a nice permanent quarantine system running over here. That's about it. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.